Welcome back to The Grind. In this video, we're going to talk about Equester, the resurrection dragon for the Soul Dance season. This is many seasons back um, before I even started playing, so it's been a couple year, over a couple years, actually. So I do have a Sorcerer Rider on there with my Wind Gear and the two runes um, that come from the line that give the extra Thunderbolt chain, so two extra bounces of that Thunderbolt spell. So we're going to go and take a look at some flights and talk about his spells. So we're going to give this base an attempt. It is approximately the same um, power, uh, defense power that my attack power is, and the towers are varied levels. Um, level 86 is a bit high at this point, but the defense power is a bit lower than I would expect, so I, I think that the gear maybe isn't as strong. So we're going to give this a go and see how it works. Um, his spells, he does have the Lightning Familiar, so it has a summon that doesn't die, deals some damage, and actually absorbs, I think, 20% of the damage that you take, so it can heal you back a little bit. Then Extract Essence, when you destroy a tower, it will give you a spell that you can use depending on what tower you destroyed. And then it has a Lightning Resist, and the main spell, Thunderbolt, which deals damage. I think it's 40% of the Dragon's HP is damaged to towers, and it bounces to, I think it's five towers um, total. Uh, we'll have to... We'll have to take, I think it's five towers plus you can get the extra bounces. So um, we're going to see how this goes against this base and then try out against a couple other bases as well. Um, and so you can see I have, maybe I should have used that, but we have this one spell um, which is a bit of a shield, but it is blue. So you got to take the blue mage out. What's nice is it's only one rage, so that, that makes it a little bit easier and then we got Rage Drained. Um, so that sucks because he has no way to avoid Rage Drain. So we're going to give this a shot here. Um, I can use this spell once, but it doesn't destroy the towers. Um, and because I was Rage Drained, I couldn't use it again right away. So that was unfortunate. I think if I wasn't Rage Drained, then I would have been able to clear that base quite nicely. Um, but there's nothing I could do about the Rage Drain, which is one of the major downsides of this dragon. Um, so let's find another base to hit here. This one is a very under geared, um, and low level towers, but let's just give it a run so we can see something exciting from this dragon. Um, I think for lower level players, this dragon might not be as bad or as a follow-up dragon, but again, you have no way to avoid mage drains, except if you get this, um, reflection spell, that is an option, or if you come up with a, come in with an equip spell, that you want to use, that that is an option as well. Um, so the reflection spell should reflect back the mage shots, but again, it's um, it's um, you have to get the right spells in order to um, be able to survive. So with the towers being low enough level to take them out one shot, this dragon does okay. Again, if there's no um, mages. And Ice Flax would really mess up this dragon. Also, you have no way to avoid the Pylon unless you have this Reflection spell. Or not the Pylon, I'm sorry. The um, Howitzer, which would one-shot a Quester for sure. Um, unless you have the Reflection spell. So this is not actually a bad spell to come and equip with. I think it actually solves a couple of the main problems with the Quester. So if you do have a Quester and you feel like you've been struggling with Mage Drains and with howitzer shots then that reflection spell is an option and i'm pretty sure you can cast it twice if you use it as an equip so that's that would actually be pretty useful um let's find another base here that will pro provide a little bit of a challenge this might be a little too much of a challenge but let's give it a shot level 80 towers that's approximately equal i would expect to be able to just defeat this base with pretty much any um dragon at tier that is worth using so let's give this a go and see. I don't know if there'll be a defender or not, because um, I would expect to be able to defeat this base with a defender. Um, all right, that's an interesting spell to have. It is red. I'm not sure that I'm actually going to be able to use that effectively. Um, tempted to just, like, cast it away so I can get another one, but I don't know what I would end up getting, so... Um, probably should have used a spell there. So if you can cast lightning and store it up before the turn, it definitely helps a lot because then you can cast it multiple times. Um, 
Oh, man. Too bad. Uh, if I casted it a little bit quicker, then maybe I could have gotten through it. Um, and with the Red Mage down on this back island, I could actually use that red spell to, to trap them if I had survived long enough. So far, a little bit underwhelming. Um, but let's find... Let's let's get a good base here and and hope for something a little more exciting. Um, I have had success on this base with the quester. Um, it is also pretty strong, and I have died miserably, and I have succeeded. It just depends on which light where the lightning goes and <laughs> if you can cast them quick enough. And that's I think a major downside is you can't control which towers you're gonna hit. Um, and so you end up being stuck with just having luck if you're hitting bases that are kind of on the edge. Um, if you can one-shot towers with the lightning sp or the thunderbolt, thunderbolt spell, then you shouldn't have too much difficulties. Um, but again, looking at these bases which are considered to be at tier, and I'm not one-shotting them, that is a little bit concerning. Okay, I should have used the... Um, reflection spell to avoid some of that damage but we did get through it so that's not too bad this was a fairly decent um strength base for equester but you see you had to like use those thunderbolt spells like really quickly um to burn through it and with a defender there is definitely no chance of succeeding against that base um i'm going to run that base one more time and see if using the uh, th uh, the reflection spell is useful. Ugh, I hate that glitch. Okay, here we go. Where did you, where did it go? There we are. Um, all right, let's give that another run, and hopefully no one defends, or hopefully they do. Then we can see what actually happens. But um, okay, we got that reflection spell. Unfortunately, it is a two rage cost, so that takes. It's basically taking the place of the, the Thunderbolt, um, which probably isn't the most ideal use of Rage, but let's see how it turns out. I'm going to try to get rid of some of these mages and then cast Thunderbolt early. Utilize as much Rage as possible. Okay, and then... Cast that. Get back my Thunderbolt. Nice. Hey, that actually worked out quite well. Um, I came out with a lot more health than I would have and because I was able to avoid the howitzer hit. Um, yeah, it actually turned out to be pretty good use. All right. So that actually wasn't too bad. Um, that might be one of the most useful spells for um, a quester because you can still use it if there's a red, red mage present the reflected damage will not do damage to the towers, though. Um, but other protective spells like Cloak or Invincible Shield, they cannot be used if there's a blue mage present. So it actually doesn't really protect you that much if there is mages. Um, but the reflection spell allows you to reflect those projectiles. So that actually can be pretty useful for a quester. So now let's try it against a short base. They are mostly level 91 towers. There is a level 95 there. And then it comes out to about 11 billion defense power um, versus my 4.2 billion attack power. Um, I don't feel like this will work quite well because while I might be able to deal the damage needed, um, I don't really have any way to avoid damage. And uh, so I think I'm just going to get bursted immediately from the towers. Okay, um, now I don't recall if that ta that had a blue mage. I think it does, so that's not going to be very useful, this spell either, is it? Okay, well, um, like I said, I probably could have destroyed all the towers with all three Thunderbolts, but I wasn't going to be able to survive because I have no way to avoid taking damage. Um, so not really great against short bases either. It's kind of limited by... Um, <laughs> if they have the mage spells and what towers they have, there really isn't any way to avoid taking a ton of damage from this base because, um, because it has all flak towers, so you can't really reflect that. You can't use an invincibility shield or a cloak reliably because, um, because the blue mage in the middle in the front there 
And so there really isn't many good options for avoiding damage, but still being able to deal the Thunderbolt damage, because you have to be able to cast Thunderbolt in order to deal damage. So you really got to be trying to rely on bases that you can one-shot um, or destroy the towers very quickly. Um, so overall, this dragon isn't a very good dragon in the current state of the game. Um, but for newer players, lower level players, players who just like hitting you know easier bases just for the fun of clearing stuff, um, or for say clearing content like PVE bases or you know um, Atlas invader bases, this dragon would probably make doing that much easier. Um, so that is something where you would get a benefit from. But as far as a competitive dragon, it's just not going to stack up against any of the more recently developed dragons because they are designed specifically for the towers that are used uh, most commonly and tested against the setups that people actually use. So they are made to succeed, um, whereas this dragon was designed with all the spells designed to succeed um, without like flax present and stuff like that. So um, definitely a different um, design for this dragon. Are we going to get through that tower? Oh, I could have gotten through it if I used another Thunderbolt, but I was hoping that the summon would get through it for me. Um, so, I mean, all in all, not a useless dragon. There's usually a place for dragons um, somewhere. Uh, unfortunately, this one doesn't have very many places to be used, but I understand that there is definitely um, a nostalgia to it for some people. They definitely really were excited to get all the remainder of the stones. And um, sorry, that was my cats. Um, and they really enjoyed using them when they got them originally. So now they have the opportunity to get him again and bring him up to whatever tier they're at um, for, you know, just some casual fun flights. If they're, you know, lumber lumber farming against weaker bases that don't have um, as intense layouts or um, maybe they're using it as a follow-up dragon so you've already taken down the mages so those are some situations where this dragon might be a little bit more usable um, and I know they are trying to um, hey there there was no front mage so I was actually able to use that uh, defensive spell so that was nice um, uh, but with a defender again things would be different um, but they are trying to move towards, you know, making more use out of dragons. So who knows? Maybe maybe one day you will actually be able to fly this dragon in a certain aspect of the game uh, with a little bit more um, meaning rather than having to attack weaker bases. Um, but anyways, that'll be it for this video. I hope it was nice to see some of the gameplay with Equester. This was given to me temporarily as a Creators Faction member to make some content to share with you. So I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next video.